Well, I'm joined now by the Liberal Democrat leader, Tim Farron. He's in Kendall and the former Conservative Cabinet Minister, Ian Duncan-Smith. He's in Dunstable. Let me come straight to the point, first of all, with you, Ian Duncan-Smith. Is it now clear that whatever relationship we will have with the single market, we will not be a member of the single market when Brexit is complete? I, I think when you add all these things together, it becomes... I believe pretty clear really that uh, what the Prime Minister said, uh, what has been said by a number of other cabinet ministers, uh, if our centre, which is what the British people hugely voted for, the centre of our negotiation is that we intend to control our borders and the flow of migrants from the European Union, which has caused in some cases a great deal of damage to workers and their incomes at the bottom level and the unskilled level, then that means that there is no way really that the European Union will be able to allow us to be a member of the single market, which is, by the way, not the same as access. So no, I think I, we I, add this together. Yeah. You, you think, right? Tim Farron, do you accept that that's the mm. way we're going, that we are, uh, whatever access, whatever arrangements we have, and we will have some arrangements, even North Korea has access to the single market, but we Precisely. won't be a member. Well, that looks to be the way that the government is, uh, is taking us, but uh, that's a massive mistake. And I think Ian is wrong to say that there's been a, a massive decision in favour of us leaving the single market, if that's what he's implying. You can argue that, well, indeed, it's a given that uh, a small majority voted to leave the EU, but nobody voted to leave the common or single market. This seems to me uh, it on, flying in the same. face of all the economic indicators of whatever the uh, British people want and what is best for British jobs, we're going to, oh, seeing from the Conservative Party, <coughs> a reinterpretation of the result, if you like, a theft of the result for a hard Brexit that nobody voted okay. for. Okay. And I think in let, let me put time, that, people will look back what, at that's this a very strong and point will hold to, people like Tim Ian Duncan Smith to account. We haven't got too much time this morning, no so I'm going to try and keep this moving quickly. How do you respond to that, Ian Duncan Smith? It's total and complete, utter rubbish. I mean, the reality is that the British people made a very clear decision. They were asked a very simple question, Tim, just in case you hadn't bothered to read the ballot paper. It's do you want to stay in or Which do you want to leave the stay European Union? in the single Union? market? Did they ask now, that? Uh, yeah, Did the they single ask market? They want to Hang on a second, market, Tim. Ian. You need to go and have a look at the rules around this. The single market is part of the European Union. Whether you like it or not, the British people voted so to So do you leave. think we should Article be in the single market? Do you think accordingly. we should be in the single market? Well, no, well, I think, do you, I think do there you are agree massive with benefits the overwhelming majority to, of I think, massive business... No, no, I'm sorry. Look, the massive benefits that exist for us to be able to trade with the European Union, have access. After all, America has access. They sell more to the European yeah, Union than well, we do. North Korea has access. We've trading, already agreed that. Trading, but, hold no, on, there's no point thing, talking remember. over each other because exactly, you're too far away. <laughs> uh, let, let me come to, to, to Tim, okay. Tim Farron. Cool. If you want to be in yeah. the single market, you have to accept free movement. You have to accept the jurisdiction of the European Court. In effect, that's membership of the EU. Isn't that what we voted Precisely. against? So, look, the point is... Oh, um, I hadn't thought well, so, Sorry, that for me, Andrew. Tim, you? Hold on, Tim Farron, I'm talking sorry, to you. Okay, thank you. Sorry, yeah, thank you, Andrew. Um, look, the, the reality is that the... And I, and I absolutely do accept the result of the referendum, by the way. It was a tiny oh, majority, good. but it was a majority. And the direction of the United Kingdom is towards leaving the European Union as things stand. I have to say, by the way, that the deal that we get at the end, as Lord Kerr, the, uh, the writer of Article 50, uh, agreed with me overnight, that you must put the deal to the British people in a referendum because destination is not the same as departure. You can't oh. start this process with Hang democracy, as we did in June, and <clears> end... And end end up with a stitch up, which is what the British yes. people are going to get. There are many yes. people in, you know, around the country who voted to leave the European Union, but they will not agree, I'm certain, with having <laughs> imposed upon them a complete exit from any relationship with our uh, okay. biggest and nearest market and friends and neighbours, which is going to cost tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands oh, of jobs. Totally Let me get it. you to respond to that, Ian Duncan Smith. Well, first of all, Lord Kerr has admitted that when he drafted Article 50, he didn't mean it ever to help Britain or any other country leave. He, desi he deliberately designed it so that it would make it so difficult to leave, it would almost be nigh impossible. So I'm not really prepared to listen to Lord Kerr. The second thing about the point that Tim makes, which is complete nonsense, is the idea somehow that we're going to lose tens of thousands of jobs because what we're looking for is a free trade relationship with the European Union. And that is the key point about this. We're not yeah. leaving, the, leaving Europe. 
We're leaving the European Union, but we intend, as they this do, is the problem, to Ian. cooperate and trade. This is There's the not problem. a problem in that for common sense Ian. and for Ian. decent okay. people. Hold on, Tim Parr. Ian Duncan Ian, Smith. Ian, 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 Ian. No, no, hold on, Tim Parr. Ian Duncan Smith. Sterling has slumped at the prospect of hard Brexit as the markets has dawned on the markets that the government is heading for a so-called hard Brexit. Doesn't that give you pause for thought? Doesn't that make you think that this might not be the right course? I mean, when, if you go to the airport at the moment, you'd be lucky to get one euro for a pound now. Doesn't that make well, you it, think? Well, not really, no, because I think what you know about the free-flowing currency is that it will fall and it will rise in accordance to what people speculate about what the next prospects or the future will be. The point, however, to look at is what is the underlying success story for UK business. Now, it used to be that the BBC, not you, Andrew, of course, but the BBC generally spent their whole time telling us how terrible things were if you look at the FTSE 250 or the FTSE 100. In the same period, we've just seen the FTSE 250, that's the small companies, the medium companies, that is now at record levels high. In other words, much higher than it was before we left, uh, decided to leave the uh, uh, European Union. Now, here's the other point. Actually, this is also hugely a story about a strong dollar. Britain, actually, the pound rose against the yen, whilst the dollar rose against the euro, the, euro, the yen, and That's the pound. Nonsense. So here's the deal. The pound is doing the our exporters a lot currency, of good. Thanks Sorry, Tim, you. you've never sold anything in your life, so just listen for a second. The world's we are, currency... We're we doing marginally oh, better right, than the There's no point heckling. That's so my job. Hang on a second, you guys. The point is that the pound's fall actually means British business, like it did after the ERM, okay. is now doing very All well. Right. And I okay. think this is a very good thing. All right, Tim Farron, okay. other, than the well, slump in, <laughs> other than the slump in sterling, What's gone wrong for the yeah. UK economy since June the 23rd? Well, look, first of all, I'm not some doom monger saying everything is absolutely <laughs> calamitous. No, but what's I mean, gone first wrong? Of all, I, I mean, much, much, as I, much as I respect Ian Duncan Smith, I actually take the views of Caroline Fairburn and indeed all the other business leaders, uh, people who wrote to the FT yesterday, those people who are former members of the Prime Minister's Business Advisory Council, who say that whatever your view on leaving the European Union, departure from the single market would be calamitous. And the, what is the really worrying indicator? These are the same this people, of course. 31 year low drop in the, in the pound is uh, what has happened and we haven't even left yet. That is what worries oh, me. On. And what worries me more than anything else is oh, that you've got on. the British business community, hilarious. the British business community who now feel the Conservative Party are listening to the kind of siren oh. English nationalist voices that have taken over the Tory party oh, no, rather go. than to good common sense business practice. When Roger yeah. Helmer, of, uh, the, UK, the UKIP MEP, tells you that you have gone too far, mm -hmm. Ian, then you probably have yeah. gone too far. All and right. Smith, let me bring you back in. We've, on, we've only audience. got a, we haven't got time for speeches this morning from either yeah. of you. Just, Ian okay. Duncan Smith, don't we need to give just a bid on free movement to secure open access? Won't that be a negotiation? If we want really good access to the single market, we will have to give something on free movement. Uh, actually, the, I wrote the, about a week ago in a paper which set out how you have control of your migration policy which is flexible enough to allow people to come to jobs uh, inside the UK or outside the UK. And that is the kind of flexibility that leaves the British government controlling uh, that idea about how you access work through work permits. And that means for higher skilled people, there will be a very light touch regime, but for the low skilled area, which is where the most damage has been done, you have a tight regime. There's one point I want to make, though. Uh, you, know, you say listen to British businesses. These are, the, these are the self appointed leaders of British business. Let me just tell you something. These are the same people that experts. told us before we don't Brexit like experts, do we? that, no, hang on, they told us, just like you did, Tim, that we would crash and burn directly afterwards. There would be a terrible, calamitous fall, the British economy would be destroyed. No, that was your I leader just wish who said that. No, no. I just that. wish, I just wish you, Tim, and the rest of them the would European pause, UK. get calm, and stop accusing everybody else of being extreme. All right. Because what they want is Britain to do well. well I, that's it's what not, we're we've after. Got that. Tim Farron, Tim Farron. Ian, Ian, it's not... Ian, sorry, Tim Farron, I've got one more question for yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, why have you now okay. lost a second peer in the House of Lords, Zahida uh, Manzur, um, she doesn't. She says you're not recognising the will of the people in the referendum by calling for a second referendum. She's joined the Tories. You already I, lost Baroness Nicholson. That's two down. How many more to go? Yes. Uh, well, we're twenty thousand up, Andrew. Um, so it's a peculiar decision. Not in the Lords. I totally respect so it. Seems it like but it. You only need to. 
you need to look at what's happened since June, with the Liberal Democrats gaining 20,000 members, hundreds, in fact, thousands of them from the Conservatives, hundreds since their conference last week. You look at the by-election gains, Liberal Democrats winning 18 gains in the All last right. three months. So you're not, you, you're not the sad to lose there, is really I take, I, I take the... Oh, I'm always sad to lose people, but I'm overjoyed to gain 20,000 okay. times All more right. people we'll than to, I've lost. We have to leave it there. Thank you very much. Come back and see us. Come to the studio where we can get a we will. proper grip on this debate as it continues. <laughs>